Here, empowered by the Atlantic, West and Northwest, a place for all to co-create, a multi-campus university to serve our community, our culture, our economy. Here we are learners, educators, innovators. Here we combine academic and research excellence. Here our impact is global, but our hearts are local. Here is your new university, Atlantic Technological University. Old school technology on Atlantic. The future is here. All rise now for the academic procession. be seated. Now before we start I'd like to introduce our platform party. Firstly our president Dr Orla Flynn, second to my left. Uh, on my, uh, immediately to my left is Dr Billy Bennett, vice president for academic affairs and registrar. Then we have Una Parsons um, after Orla is um, the head of college and the head of the faculty of engineering and design. Dr. Jerry Bird, who is the head of our uh, head of the Faculty of Science, and Dr. Michelle Glacken, who is the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar in Sligo. And behind me, I have um, my academic colleagues, um, heads of department. I have members of the governing body, representation from our students' union, and our VPs um, at the uh, university. Thank you very much. Irim er Una Parsons on Kian Kloshta Conan Sharmonish Bronta at Oskult. I call on Una Parsons, Head of College, ATU Sligo, to open the conferring ceremony. Bolche go Oskult Technolyukta on Atlantic. President, graduates, family, and friends, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the governing body and university colleagues, I wish to extend a warm welcome to every one of you to the inaugural Atlantic Technological University 2022 Conferring Ceremony in Sligo. My name is Una Parsons, and I'm the newly appointed head of college at ATU Sligo and head of Faculty of Engineering and Design. And I'm delighted to be here at the Faculty of Science Conferring Ceremonies. This is really a significant day for both you and the university. You started your studies with us when we were IT Sligo, and now you are graduating when we have achieved the momentous milestone of becoming the Atlantic Technological University. You will be our very first graduates. Over yesterday and today, across five sessions, over 1,500 students will graduate from ATU Sligo campus. In the coming weeks, over 5,500 students will be the first graduates to be conferred with ATU awards. It is just wonderful to see so many of you here today for this special occasion. It's marvellous to see you joined by your family and friends, 
to mark this lovely event, both here in the arena and online. I know many of you came from far and wide, and some of you are on our campus for the very first time, as many of you study online with us. To achieve your award today is extra special. After many years of study, it is magnificent to finally receive your award. But to have gotten your education during the pandemic and successfully pass all learning outcomes is truly a great achievement. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. You are celebrating the end of an extraordinary journey in these extraordinary times. It is a great achievement to arrive at this day, your graduation, a day of celebration. In the university, we pride ourselves in helping you reach your potential and gaining this qualification. Our staff go above and beyond to support you along the way, and I would like to thank them for that. I'd like to wish you every success with your career. Some of you will use this qualification to help you secure your first job, and some of you will use it again for promotion or to switch jobs. The good news is there are lots of opportunities out there, and with your new university parchment, your opportunities will be greater. I will leave you with a quote from Dr. Brendan McCormack, who was the last president of IT Sligo, who recently retired, but who did so much to ensure we became a university. His few words say it all. It gives me so much delight that you have been conferred awards as the first graduating class of ATU. This is a historic occasion. You are starting a new and exciting era for all future, future graduates of our technological university that we worked hard for many years to create on your behalf. Be proud of this special moment. Thanks, Brendan. And that leaves me just to say congratulations again and enjoy today's celebrations. Co gorgeous Liv Galair. Tuhi Kahirlak Ambard Realta, Maura McNally, Ashola Tafata. The chairperson of the governing body, Maura McNally, will make a recorded address. Congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Maura McNally and I am chair of the Atlantic Technological University. And on my own behalf, but also on behalf of the entire board, on behalf of all of the staff, and on behalf of all persons associated with the Atlantic Technological University, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations. This is an historic day. You are an, an historic class. You are the first class of graduates from this university. You can now take that parchment that you have worked hard for, the blood, sweat and tears of your family and friends, I should add. All has come to this day where you receive your parchment from a university and you are university graduates. You are also now the flag bearers, flag bearers for yourselves, flag bearers for your classmates, flag bearers for your university. You are now the alumni of a university. You can now take that parchment, use that education. You can now help yourself. You can now help your community. You can now help your region because that is the secret behind the Atlantic Technological University. Its aim is to see each person improve him or herself, regardless of age, race, color, creed, or beliefs. This is about education. This is university education. We aim for universal education of the persons in this region. And with that in mind, we are so proud to be here to celebrate with you and to extend our gratitude to you as well. Gratitude for choosing this university. Gratitude that you and your families have worked hard to achieve this particular day. And gratitude that you are now in a position to place this university on the map. This parchment is not only a recognition of your hard work, but it's also a recognition of your abilities and of your capacity. This parchment from this university will hopefully open doors for you. 
It will be like a rising tide. It will lift all boats. And it lifts you, it lifts your belief in yourself, in your community, in your region. The world is now your oyster. You are the beneficiary of a university education. Grasp that opportunity with both hands. Use that opportunity. Do what you can for yourself and for your alumni and your university. Take your place in society. As our first alumni, as our historic class, as I say, you are the flag bearers. We will be looking to you to now be the future of this region, to be the future of this university, to give feedback to this university, to engage as proper alumni. Fulfill your dreams, fulfill your opportunities. Take this graduation, take this parchment, and have fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson. Anish Iram and Dr. Orla Flynn, Uchtaran and Ulskull, August and Dr. Billy Bennett, Gradam Brona and Fogla Mary, and Thakarha Ilahar and Ulskull Technoliakta on Atlantic. I now call on Dr. Orla Flynn, President of the University, and Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar, to the confer awards on the learners presented by the Atlantic Technological University for that purpose. The Vua Nudra Shata Dilshaha and Ulskal Technolyakta on Atlantic, Bronum Lesh Shadokhtani or Nafalimori of Wintermach and Chaidon, the Nadokhtanishin, Agus Irum, Gugurfer Nafalimori Shin, Ilahakuum, Kangam Running May, Abarkim or Ahu, Gufarimul. By virtue of the authority vested in Atlantic Technologi Technological University, I hereby confer awards on the learners who have achieved the standard determined for those awards, and I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with, with their parchment. I Uchtaron. Kurmilo Harkut, Nahirahori Shohalanis, a will a durhi screw the head lachta, August de Vaktani, a glavel, a she, a shacht, a hocht, a ne, August a je, then crack na shun to Kalachti of a Kadaha, a Kurla Akadul, Ulskal Technoliot on Atlantic. President, I present to you the following candidates whose examination results have been adopted and awards at levels six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of the National Framework of Qualifications have been approved by the Atlantic Technological University Academic Council. Iram er Professor Francis Lucy, Kian Rain Naholiacht on Co Sail, Ne Irahori as on Rainshin a Curry Lawher. I call on Professor Francis Lucy, Head of Department of Environmental Sciences, to present the candidates from this department. I just point out at the start that we're not going to clap individually. So um, when we go through different levels, I'll, I'll ask the candidates after they've returned to their seats to stand up and we'll all give them, uh, you know, big boule boss. Okay, thank you. Higher Certificate in Science in Occupational Safety and Health. David Buckley. In absentia. Eddie Coffey, in absentia. Mary Dempsey, in absentia. Zoe Doyle, in absentia. Fidelma Elvin, in absentia. Brandon Goggins. Owen Grimes. Dale Harbour, in absentia. Eamon Hegarty.
Dylan Kennedy in absentia, Declan McGo in absentia, Owen McGowan. Neave McNamara in absentia, James Maloney in absentia, Joe O'Reilly in absentia, James Quinn. Guillaume Rhine. Fiona Rouse. Kevin Staunton. Now, oh, please applaud um, the Certificate in Science and Occupational Safety and Health. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Occupational Safety and Health and Occupational Safety and Health Management, Stephen Bolas in absentia. Neave Bonner. Cahill Burke, in absentia. Rachel Corcoran, in absentia. Sinead Mary Courtney Stasek, in absentia. And Nika Cummings, in absentia. Mark Dalton, Stephen Devaney. Olga drago in absentia. Helen Finnerty in absentia. Michelle Flanagan in absentia. Anita Harmon in absentia. Jude Ikonobi. Hassan Javed in absentia, John Keane in absentia, Molly Kelly in absentia, Brendan Curley in absentia, Beakra Maguire in absentia, Jack Marr. Aaron Mannion. Edward McCarthy. Kieran McGovern. Matt McGovern in absentia. Brad McHugh in absentia. Brandon McMahon. Liam Malloy in absentia, Jack O'Dowd, Stephen O'Neill in absentia, Richard O'Brien in absentia, John Quinn in absentia, Stephen Richardson. Kevin Ruan in absentia, John Paul Ryan. Marietta Saxida.
James Slevin. Derek Thornton. Noel Toomey. Fiona Towie in absentia. Joseph Whelan in absentia. Could the Bachelor of Science in Occupational Safety and Health um, class who have been conferred, please rise and please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Occupational Safety and Health, Jamie Cosgrove. Neve Fallon in absentia, Kieran Hannan. Jack Heaver. Jermud Keeney, Keeney, beg your pardon, Jermud. Jack Kennedy. James Curran. Marek Kobrinski. Chloe Lynch. In absentia. Chloe McGovern. Mairead Monaghan. Ryan Moore. Morgan Nolan. Cahill Smith. Naomi Wilson. Bachelor of Science Honours in Occupational Safety and Health Management. Derek Bowens in absentia. Simon Corcoran. Rebecca Cox. Donald Gleason in absentia, Orla Highland. John Layden. Ailish Luby in absentia, Robert McCarran. Seamus McCutcheon. Harina McAvoy. Maria McFadden. Fiona McGarry.
Emma Murphy in absentia, Michael O'Halloran in absentia, Barry O'Neill. John Rabbit. Anthony Rogers in absentia, Chris Rogers. Um, could the class, both of the level eight classes, the occupational safety and health and the occupational safety and health management group that have just been conferred, please stand. Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Environmental Health and Safety Management, Michael Buckley, in absentia. Jonathan Burke. Ryan Call. Christopher Donnelly in absentia, Hugh Headley in absentia, Kate Joyce in absentia, Thomas Maher in absentia, Peter Maxson in absentia, Alexis Papadopoulos in absentia, Lisa Sim in absentia, in absentia, I'm now going to move on to the Masters of Science in Environmental Health and Safety Management. Valdemaris Antanvicius in absentia. Samantha Burke. Alan Doody. Martin Duffy. Keenan Gallagher. Brian Holland. Busani Moyo. Mark Muldoon, in absentia. Aoife Neville, in absentia. Williams Najoku, in absentia. Margajata Shibwayovska, in absentia. John Ryan. Kresimir Stefko, in absentia. Could the graduates in the Postgraduate Diploma in Environmental Health and Safety Management and the Masters in Environmental Health and Safety Management please rise. Higher Certificate in Science in Environmental Science with Ecology. David Grimes, in absentia. Gronya McElker. Okay. Uh, 
Bachelor of Science in Environmental Protection, Eric Bogdavikius, in absentia. Joel Burrell, in absentia. Andrew Dillon, in absentia. Dara Lee, in absentia. Kieran McTiernan, in absentia. Kate Mulgrew, in absentia. Dylan Noonan, in absentia. Heidi Slater, in absentia. Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Science, John Clancy. Kevin Dowds. Gronya Egan. Ryan Fay. Brian Flynn. Max Gilmore. Sean Harrison. Brian McGuire. Charlton Mattiata. Shane McGee. Christopher McGrory. Owen Phelan in absentia. Sorry, Christopher McGrory in absentia. Owen Phelan. Harry Reynolds. Darren Timlin. Michael Wall. I ask the graduates from the, the um, Certificate in Science and Environmental Science with Ecology and the Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Science um, to please stand so we can offer our congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Environmental Management. Martin Bowling, in absentia. Noel Carr, in absentia. Stephen Corcoran. David Graham, in absentia. Tomasz Gromski, in absentia. Kieran Hassett. Emma Keating, in absentia, James Lowry. Ross Meikle. Michelle Nolan. Martin Talbot in absentia, Ronan Walsh. Andrew 
worse now in absentia. Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Management. Adrian Allen. Thomas Cohn in absentia. Dariush Mixa in absentia. Roisin O'Donnell. Tanya Osborne in absentia, James Power. I ask the graduates from the um, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Management and the Bachelor of Science Honours in, Env in Environmental Management to stand so we can offer our congratulations. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Environmental Protection. Sophie Bresnahan, in absentia. Deirdre Campbell. Martha Casserly, in absentia. Adam Gargan. Isabel Kerens, in absentia. Michelle McCarthy. Arlene McGoldrick in absentia, Connor McGrath in absentia, Aleandra Penna in absentia, Dara Ryan in absentia, Siobhan Walsh in Katerina Solodovnik in absentia, Janet Thompson, Mas. Siobhan Walsh in absentia. Master of Science in Environmental Protection, Barry Kelly. Master of Science in Environmental Protection, Vincent Kilduff. I ask the graduates from the Postgraduate Diploma in Environmental Protection and the Masters in Environmental Protection to please stand so we can offer our congratulations. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Water Services Management. Pat Foley. Claire Hurley.
Daniel Kennedy in absentia, Jermud Lawler in absentia, Sean McGee. Brian McLaughlin in absentia, Niall Mooney in absentia, Derek Naud in absentia, Michael O'Connell in absentia, Kieran Ryan. Brian Walsh. Masters of Science in Water Services Management, Cormac Bergen. Fanula Callery. John Farrell. Jason Garrity. Donald Heaney in absentia, Samantha Keane. Sinead McDonnell. William Mulhern. Breed O'Hare. Leo O'Shea. Tessie Ogbanga. Derek Troy. I ask the graduates from the postgraduate diploma in and the masters in water services management to please stand so that we can offer our congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Applied Archaeology, Leonardo Maciel. Sean Thermes. Bachelor of Science Honours in Applied Archaeology, Lara Brennan. Ava Campbell. Benjamin Charles. Joseph Regan.
Liam Og Roach. I ask the graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Applied Archaeology and the Bachelor of Science Honours in Ar Applied Archaeology to please stand so we can offer our congratulations. Iram <laughs> er and Dr. Thomas Smith, Kian Rin, Oliak Nislainte, Agus Kohaha, Ne Irohori, Asan Rainshin, a Karilohar. I call on Thomas Smith, Head of Department of Health and Nutritional Sciences, to present candidates from this department. Higher Certificate in Science and Health and Medical Information Science, Grania Hayes. Michelle Kelly, in absentia. Antonio Kerrigan, in absentia. Higher Certificate in Science and Health and Exercise Science, Rhiannon Connolly. Aaron Davey, in absentia. Shea Doherty, in absentia. Clara McNulty, in absentia. Gradra Mulrennan. Lorraine Wallace. I would now ask the graduates of the Higher Certificate in Science and Health and Medical Information Science and the Higher Certificate in Science and Health and Exercise Science to please stand for a round of congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor, of Bachelor of Science in Health Science and Physiology, Richard Barton. Fina Brady. Oshin Burns in absentia. Celine Byrne. Claire Byrne. David Byrne. Alice Carr, in absentia. Caitlin Colas. Chelsea Cox. Alan Davey. Ali Dykes. Kelly Griffin. Natasha Hamilton.
Anna Looney in absentia. Callum Malone. Donna McAdam. Kira McGuire. Darvla McMenamin in absentia. Ruth Monaghan. Leona Mulligan. Stephanie O'Coley. Evan Rainey. Shane Toher. Cormac Waters in absentia. Lauren Waters. Bachelor of Science, Honours, Health Science and Physical Activity. Precious Eleanor Wally. Adrian Updright. Amy Boyle Carr. Reese Conroy. David Kern. Laura Dunleavy. Sarah Forrestal. Patrick Keane. Shelley Lachlan. Mark McCauley. Shane McMonagall. Finn Mellon. Kitty Melly. Ava Reedy. Dylan Ruan. Connor Scanlon. And I would ask that the Bachelor of Science, the graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Health Science and Physiology and the Bachelor of Science Honours in Health Science and Physiology Activity to please rise for a round of congratulations.
Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition. Oliver Tomlinson, Adjutunji OB. Liam Clark. Niall Gannon. Deborah Jennings. Kelly Monaghan Mulroy in absentia. Sean Wesson in absentia. Bachelor of Science Honours in Human Nutrition, Deborah Bacala. Sarah Burke. Emily Bradley. George Books. Rachel Conley. Lucas Da Silva. Katie Ellis. Catherine Fallon. Jennifer Flynn. Catherine Gillespie. Izut Gurgerty Mead. Amy Graham. Angela Costco. Kira Lavin. Sadie Letty. Ruth Maloney in absentia. Tara Mannion. Laura Mannix. Rebecca McElwain. Ronya McGoldrick. Jamie McKernan. Tiernan McScreen. Tessa Mitchell. Sean Murphy.
clear now te taro her Emily Radican Ashlyn Ryan Shannon Spain I would now ask the graduates of the Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition and the Bachelor of Science Honours in Human Nutrition to please stand for a round of congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Public Health and Health Promotion, Caelan Byrne. Ashling Darcy. Lauren Devinney. Fiona Doherty, in absentia. Neve Doherty. Aoife Duffy. Elizabeth Burr. Erin Farrell. Anya Gallagher. Charlene Gidmartin. Aoife Heffernan. Andrew Lyons. Julia Mumich, in absentia. Kathleen McNally. Kiva O'Donnell. Russell Sullivan, I would now ask the graduates of the Bachelor of Science Honours in Public Health and Health Promotion to please stand for a round of congratulations. Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Sports and Exercise Nutrition, Gareth Stoyle, in absentia. 
Master of Science in Health Promotion Practice, Gemma Carter. Caroline Hopper. Schiefer Kilgallen. Danielle McElwill. Raymond Moylan. Celestine Ogbeke. Blessing, Blessing Ogbeke. Master of Science in Public Health Nutrition, Sarah Butler. In absentia, Neve Clark, Sarah Corcoran, Louise Gallagher, in absentia, Nicole Holland. Next stand here. Amy Millett. Andrea Donahue, in absentia. Helena O'Dwyer, in absentia. Selena Woods, in absentia. I would now ask the graduates of the Master of Science in Health Promotion Practice and the Master of Science in Public Health and Nutrition to please stand for a round of congratulations. <laughs> Master of Science in Sports and Exercise Nutrition, Ellen Ammon, in absentia. Uh, Patrona Blugler. Michelle Carl. Connor DC. David Gordon. Ruth Hennessy. Amber Hunter, in absentia. Anishka Kulaga, in absentia. Nikita McDonald. Marion McNamara. Aoife Quinn. Could I ask the graduates of the Master of Science in Sports and Exercise Nutrition to please stand for a round of congratulations.
on behalf of the lecturers in the department and myself, I wish you uh, many congratulations. Now I ask Dr. Jeremy Bird, the Head of Faculty of Science, to present the candidates for a research degree. I have uh, the honor to present the following candidate, Stephen Doak, for admission to the degree of Master of Science. And I ask President Dr. Orla Flynn to confer the degree upon him. Stephen was supervised by Ms. Laura Kiever, Professor Jacqueline McCormack, and Dr. John Carney. Stephen will be accompanied by his supervisor, Professor Jacqueline McCormack. The title of his research dissertation is An Investigation of the Diet and Lifestyle Behaviors of Higher Education Students. I request that Stephen Doak come up to be presented with his parchment. I have, sorry. Have a final round of applause. I have the honor to present the following candidate, Rachel Parks, for admission to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. And I ask President Dr. Orla Flynn to confer the degree upon her. Rachel Parks will be accompanied by her supervisor, Dr. Nicholas Touze. The title of her research dissertation is High Value Metabolite Yield Optimization and Method Development for the Exploitation of Irish Native Microalgae. I request that Rachel Parks comes up with her supervisor to be presented with her parchment. Um, I call on Dr. Jeremy Bird, Head of Faculty of Science, again, to present the Academic Excellence Awards, and Dr. Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and the Registrar, assisted by Dr. Michelle Glacken, uh, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar, to present the graduates with their awards. Now, would the award winners please come over to the, uh, to the aisle here, please, and line up. Out of your seats, come over. Thank you.
I present to you the following graduates who have been awarded Academic Excellence Awards within the Department of Environmental Science and the Department of Health and Nutritional Science. Kevin Dowd's Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Science. Harry Reynolds, Bachelor of Science, Honours in Environmental Science. <clears throat> Mairead Monaghan, Bachelor of Science in Occupational Safety and Health. Maria McFadden, Bachelor of Science Honours in Occupational Safety and Health Management. <clears throat> Laura Dunleavy. Bachelor of Science Honours in Health Science and Physical Activity. <clears throat> Angela Costco, Bachelor of Science Honours in Human Nutrition. Kathleen McNally, Bachelor of Science Honours in Public Health and Health Promotion. I call on Dr. Michelle Glacken to introduce and Beatrice Flavin from the Faculty of Business to present the Cornhion Vigmanish Award. Good afternoon. I am absolutely delighted to be able to share with you a little bit about the award, a little bit more about the recipient of this year's award. So this award was established by a former chairperson, Sean McManus, um, about 30 years ago. Sean McManus was a native of Sligo and he's, he was one of 10 children but his education finished in primary school and he took on the role of breadwinner of his family of 10 at 16 when his father, a fireman, died tragically in action. Despite his education finishing very early, he was of the firm belief that everybody needs to have an opportunity for education regardless of who you are. So he was a no, one of a number of people who lobbied for the successful um, establishment of an RTC in Sligo in 1970. And without that establishment, there would be no ATU Sligo today. He also recognised that you need to recognise and acknowledge the contribution of both staff and student of your institution. So for this reason, he established this award, which is open to any staff member or student of ATU Sligo for their unique contribution to the institution. And every member of staff and student puts forward a person or group of persons every year for this award. This year, I am delighted to say that the recipient of the award is Connie Callaghan. Now, 
a little bit about our recipient, and she'd be very shy about this. One of the nicest persons you could meet in ATU Sligo. She's worked here for about the last 30 years, and currently she supervises the portrain, as she supervises all portrain and all cleaning activities in the college. And as you can see, she's excellent at her job by both. You can see your surroundings today, and also the welcome that you would have been given by some of her team members as well. So when you ask about Connie, everybody says, oh, she's so friendly, she's so good, she always finds a solution to everything. Unfortunately, she always finds all these files that you want to forget sometimes. She is really good at putting things back. So she's a real team player. In essence, she embodies, the collegi she embodies collegiality. To the respect she shows to every person, her commitment to her role and the wider college, her ability to connect with all, and her cooperative spirit and her sheer humaneness. She goes over and above her remit, and, with, and so many students and staff will attest to this. Her quiet intuitiveness has actually meant that many struggling students have actually been unearthed, and only for that they've been provided with support that they wouldn't have got only for Connie's sharp eyes. I hope you, our graduates, one day have the privilege of working with someone like Connie, because if you have, your working life will be richer like that of those of ATU Sligo. So now I would ask Beatrice, who is the daughter of Sean McManus, and she is also a lecturer here in the college, in the School of Business and Social Sciences, to present Connie, which I hope is going to come to the stage to be to receive our award. Cordicus Connie and Cordicus de Nakemaha Illa. Congratulations to all our graduates. As graduates, you can now move the tassel to the left hand side of your mortarboards. Irum are on Dr. Orla Flena. On Uchtheron, Kriach Akur Leshano Koidsho. I ask Dr. Orla Flynn, our president, to make the closing address. Do you have a good Ushla, a smart Durtar Garhilak, Kurm Falchi Creole Roiv Galer, Nak Untagan Law, and Yovagus Kogar the Slenner Gimher Erfad? I also want to extend a virtual welcome to all who are viewing with us online here this morning. I know many of you are far from home. But an especially warm welcome to those of you with us here today, our new graduates, your families, your friends, governors, colleagues, and, and guests. And the main purpose of our graduation ceremony is to publicly recognize and celebrate your achievements. And on behalf of us all in Atlantic Technological University, I want to congratulate you on completing your course of study with us. And it's timely to take a moment to reflect on the significance of your achievement. And I want you to remember that only a small percentage of the world's population, less than 7%, have college degrees. And you are all now part of that small group. And you not only can, but must make a difference. All of us in ATU look forward to the significant contributions that you will make in Irish and perhaps global society as you embark on your life and career journey. We are all confident that you have acquired the knowledge, skills and competencies to be successful. You should be proud of your efforts, as indeed we are. And it was wonderful for us, lovely for us as a team, to have been able to receive you today and present you with your parchments uh, in person after the last difficult couple of years. We are rightly proud of you, and we've been applauding you here now all morning, but you would not have been here without the support of many others, families, 
friends and supporters. And I, I invite you now, our graduates, our new graduates, to perhaps give a little round of applause to those who supported you along your journey. Today's graduation ceremony, however, also allows us to look at how our own organization has grown and developed alongside you over these last 12 months. In April, we were designated a technological university, Atlantic Technological University, marking over a decade of hard work by many people, people who had the vision to imagine what we could become and who saw the clear need for us to evolve to better serve the needs of our region. And I know this resonates with the earlier words of our Cahirluk around the critical role that we can and must play in the west and northwestern region of this island. You are among over 5,000 graduates who will receive parchments from us in the course of the month. I really hope that you stay in touch with us in ATU and remember you are now large, a part of a large community of ATU alumni. And community is not just a word to us, it's more of a philosophy and it's a philosophy that will keep us going through good days and bad. And coming together as a single, supportive, resilient community will be a core focus for us all in the months and years ahead. And to conclude today, because I know you're anxious to get out for the cup of tea, but I want to thank the entire ATU conferring team who've worked so hard together as one team across our one university to develop and support our meaningful graduation ceremony. I want to thank you all very much. Kogordis, Galera Rish, August Tosulagam, Gominik Shiv Sult, Asan Lawanish, Gurmila Magrev. Respected uh, guests, fellow academics, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the conferring of awards on our graduates at our Technological University. Um, just, I'm sure, just to remind you, refreshments are available over in the main building on the library ground floor, and we'd invite you all to find your way over there. And any of the award winners, we'd invite you upstairs just for a photograph with your guests. Um, and it, uh, the, our final thing is I'd ask you to stand for our final procession, academic procession. Thank you.
Atlantic, West and Northwest. A place for all to co-create. A multi-campus university to serve our community, our culture, our economy. Here we are learners, educators, innovators. Here we combine academic and research excellence. Here our impact is global, but our hearts are local. Here is your new university, Atlantic Technological University. Old school technology on Atlantic. The future is here.